My name is Mavis Jackson, and I am the principal of the amazing Digital Harbor High School. The attributes of a successful Baltimore City graduate for me includes hands-on things like a CTE course. So whether it's healthcare, whether it's interactive media, but really having the opportunity to learn from someone in industry. Another attribute of a successful graduate would be um, students who push the envelope. They like to ask questions, right? So um, being inquisitive, because um, that's something that we encourage our students to do. Ask questions, what's the why? So being inquisitive. And then um, I think the other thing is is probably resilience. And I know we can't, we don't teach resilience, but we support students through some of the challenges that they face so that way they can become more and more resilient and they recognize their own resilience as they go through the challenges and the traumas that they sometimes experience. And so that resilience will carry them far in life because you know we're all gonna be told no. We're all gonna be at some point told, yep, you're not good enough, you didn't make it. And it's not that I stop there, but I keep going. One thing that we offer is CTE, Career and Technology Education, which is really important because that's the hands-on. Like we do offer the AP, the dual enrollments, the honors, we offer all of those, but we also offer the, the hands-on career and technical education because at the end of the day, those are those resume builders. We have um, something called a PAC. And so that's made up of um, industry leaders and they kind of tell us you know what's on the horizon and say okay you need to shift this pathway in this direction based on industry trends and so we really try to make sure that we stay up on those things so that way our students are leaving with the most um, current credentials and we are giving that to high school at high school students at no cost um, we had um, a partnership with university of baltimore where our students are taking dual enrollment they took a python class and um, app development class right and that's something that was free to our students and again, when you go out into the open market with a high school diploma and knowing how to write code in Python, you are, you are marketable and you are employable right out the door. As a school system, we're doing tremendous, tremendous things. This year we have one track to graduate um, leads. So every school has one in the ninth grade. I'm calling my person a first year experience because I think about college, right? And then college is that first year experience. And so what does that look like? What does a first year experience look like for a student coming in? Because it, um, when a student comes in, how they come in shows you how they're gonna finish, right? Ninth grade attendance is a predictor of graduation rates in four years. It's important to have, for every student to have a caring adult, right? And so one of the things that we do is we have advisory. And that's really a time for students to connect. But, but having that, that one caring adult is so important because when you are absent, that means someone is missing you, right? They're missing your presence. And then when you return the next day, someone needs to say to you, and those, and my staff are really good about that. I didn't see you yesterday, what happened? But that's our community, right? And that's what happens in our schools. And that's the part that people don't see. You know, sometimes people get um, caught up in the, the one-off of the, you know, a few things that they see on the news. But when you come into these buildings and you see like the love and the care that our students have, it's powerful. I love coming to work every single day. I get here every day at about 6.30 and I leave every day at about eight o'clock, but I love coming to work each and every day.